Hey everyone. Now some of you are probably wondering, didn't you do this video like three, four months ago? And yes, you would be correct. But a lot has actually changed in my movie room uh, since the last time I filmed this video. And um, yeah, uh, I do want to do these types of videos at least like once or twice a year. Probably twice a year because I do change this movie room like quite a bit over the years. So there may be at least two movie room videos a year. So don't be surprised if you see another one before 2021 ends. And with all that out of the way, let's begin the video. So if you take a quick look into the main section of my movie room, you can definitely see some uh, changes. And I'll point them out to you right now. Now the most notable change you could probably see over here is that I add some more VHS tapes that you guys didn't see in the last video. And uh, these are not new to my collection or anything. I actually already had them display in this section of the movie room, which we'll get to in a little later. Um, and that includes, uh, first of all, a sealed uh, VHS of Top Gun, which I got at a local thrift store. Not just because it was sealed, but it has this on sale promo sticker for Mission Impossible on VHS. So I figured that'd be a pretty cool addition to the collection. And these next two VHSs you haven't seen before are really, really cool. Uh, they are, as you can see, uh, the VHSs of Vertigo and Citizen Kane. I, now, I got these at a yard sale a few years ago for a really, really good price. Really cheap, because uh, the couple I was buying the tapes from just wanted to get rid of their tapes. So, yeah. And what's cool about these VHS tapes is that they open up. And for Vertigo, it actually has its own little booklet, which is really awesome. Now, I only have Vertigo on VHS. I really hope to get uh, the Blu-ray of it, specifically in the Essential Alfred Hitchcock Blu-ray set. But yeah, that's the little booklet that's in here. And yeah, this is a really, really cool release. Like when I was getting rid of my VHS tapes, uh, that was one of the ones I wanted to keep, along with this VHS of Citizen Kane, which I have a lot more admiration for now since I've actually seen Citizen Kane. That if you have not seen Citizen Kane, uh, it truly is a great film. And it has a little like blurb, like you open the flap, it has a little blurb which talks about uh, the people involved with Citizen Kane. So yeah, that is really, really awesome. Now, a few of the VHS tapes over here, uh, if you watch closely in my last video, along with these two VHS box sets, they were originally over there. But I moved them over here, so... And a couple of the tapes that were displayed over here, Gone with the Wind, and uh, the Mummy DVD set, which actually is not a VHS tape, uh, I decided to give those away. Uh, a major reason why I decided to make these videos is that ever since uh, the last Movie Room Tour update video, I have decided to give a lot more VHS tapes away because it turns out there were still some that I was just holding on to for nostalgic purposes, but at the same time they were taking space, so I basically made a decision on what tapes I wanted to, I know for sure I wanted to keep and will appreciate in the future, and what tapes I'm just holding on to uh, just for the hell of it, I guess. So I got rid of a lot of those tapes. It definitely helped make a lot more space in the movie room. And I'm pretty confident I won't get rid of any more because I'm pretty satisfied with all the tapes I have now, at least at the moment. So I'm, I'm confident I won't give any more away. But anyways, continuing on, um, also another difference is, uh, as you guys saw in my last pickups video, I picked up The Office, a complete series on Blu-ray. I absolutely love this set. This is a great piece to the movie room right here. And here are two more VHS tapes that were originally in this section of the movie room that I took out. A sealed VHS of Cocoon. Now, you guys may be thinking that this is a re resealed VHS. No, this is actually a sealed VHS because it still has uh, the sticker over there. And it's still, like, stuck together. It hasn't been, like, cut. So that's how I know it's still sealed. And it also has this 20th Century Fox also has the Fox Video logo over here, so that's pretty cool. And this VHS is pretty interesting. Um, this is, I think this is for the celebration of the first feature film ever made. But this is from 1995 or 6. And basically it says what it says on the tape. It celebrates 100 years of stock footage from famous films. And yeah, this is a really cool release. And um, yeah... Really happy to have it. I knew I had to display it in my movie room. Now, in terms of the Blu-rays, uh, nothing much has changed except that they've expanded to another shelf down here. 
because I've gotten quite a bit more Blu-rays ever since the last movie room tour, especially after my birthday. So, yeah. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, I am still planning on doing a Blu-ray collection video. Uh, I've just had quite a lot going on. I originally wanted to do it during winter break, but I, stuff happened. I just totally forgot about it, so. But my plan is, uh, after a couple other videos I release after this one, I will do a Blu-ray collection video because um, after I bought my Criterion's in the flash sale yesterday, I decided I'm gonna stop picking up Blu-rays for a while, at least until I can get my job back. So yeah, uh, Blu-ray collection videos should be coming out in the next month or two. Knock on wood. Now, another noticeable change you may notice here in this section of the movie room is that a lot of the tapes I had here originally, especially down here, I ended up uh, deciding that I didn't want anymore, so I'm gonna give those away. So yeah. Again, I just wanted to get rid of some tapes where I was just holding on to them for no good particular reason. So I held on to the tapes that I knew that I really wanted to keep. So yeah, and besides, this gives me more room to expand when I continue to collect VHS, VHS tapes, particularly Disney VHS tapes because those are like the main clamshell VHS tapes I still collect. And yeah, as last time, uh, this is where I keep all my slip cards, slip covers, VHS tapes, but I ac actually expanded upwards to another row. Like, if you guys remember my last movie room tour video, uh, these VHS tapes uh, were located where the DVDs were, right here, uh, all the way in the back so you couldn't really see them, but now that I've downgraded the amount of VHS tapes that were in there, that aka I'm giving many of them away, I was able to make more room for these tapes that originally weren't seen over there. So yeah, these are all my Thomas the Tank Engine, my Arthur, my Nickelodeon tapes. Uh, as I stated in my previous video, I still like collecting tapes of shows that I really liked as a kid and still like to look back to every once in a while. Anyways, let's move on from this section and move to this section of the movie room. Uh, now if you guys remember from my last movie room tour video, uh, the upper this spot was where I used to keep all my Disney VHS tapes, and I'll keep all my other DVDs down here. Well, I've actually uh, moved the Disney VHS tapes over there. They have remained the same, and uh, I moved my DVDs over there. Uh, there are some new new DVDs I've gotten since the movie room tour, and some that I have given away. At least decided to have given away. Either because I had no use for them, or it turns out they were in horrible shape, so... Yeah, this is where all my, at least, movie DVDs are. Like, this is it. Like, in terms of movies on DVDs, like, that, this is all I have, pretty much. So, yeah. But down here, uh, I mentioned in my last movie room tour video that I didn't uh, keep my TV, TV shows on DVD down here because I didn't have enough room. Well, I was able to make more room, and... Now all the TV shows I have on DVD are here, well at least the uh, season sets, so yeah, as you can see I also have Lost, uh, I have Seinfeld, I have South Park, uh, quite a bit of TV shows I definitely do hope to expand this row, because there are quite a bit of TV shows that I like that have never been released on Blu-ray, so I definitely want to get uh, some more of those. Uh, some of them have been, have been though, but I still haven't had the chance to upgrade them to Blu-rays. But yeah, I'm super happy to have found a place for them in the movie room. Uh, the shelf for them is not complete though. I still need to get more TV sets on DVD to complete this shelf. And I definitely will in the near future. So hopefully maybe by my next movie room tour update, uh, this will be complete. And if you go down here, uh, there is this bag where I keep uh, mainly Thomas the Tank Engine, Rugrats, Arthur VHS tapes that don't have cases. Uh... I actually got this, I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, well, I don't think I did, at least, but I got this bag from a friend when I was really into collecting VHS tapes, and i still thankful that he gave this to me to this very day, because without this bag, I don't know where I would have been able to keep my VHS tapes without cases. Anyways, the last section of my movie room is where I keep my Disney VHS clamshells. Now, if you remember from my last movie, movie room tour video uh, that's where I kept a bunch of films I didn't have on any other format but I decided to uh, get rid of them I decided to make more space for stuff that I actually 
I don't know, like, did care about more, I guess you can say, so I'll definitely watch them one day, like, there are a bunch of streaming services I can watch them now, and I really don't need to watch them on VHS, so, but yeah, this is where I keep my Disney tapes now, um, and as I said before, this really hasn't changed, I just moved stuff around here, and, um, but we're not done with this shelf just yet, because this is also where I keep some compilation DVDs of shows that I liked as a kid, like, again, Thomas, Spongebob, we even have some of the Amanda show over there. And here's just some more Thomas and Nicktoons DVD. And actually a South Park Christmas DVD, which is pretty cool. But anyways, guys, thanks once again for watching this video. I know I say that a lot of times in my videos. But, um, yeah, I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you like what you see. I hope you all have a great day and stay safe.